We are excited to share with you a new feature that has been added to iLearn, Google Assignments. Google Assignments will allow teachers to bring the power of Google into iLearn. You'll be able to create an assignment with Google Docs and have a copy of that doc automatically shared with you and the student right here within iLearn. I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of how you can use this tool. We are going to start from the teacher perspective. Uh, so here in the content tool, you are able to add a Google assignment just like you would any other assignment. Uh, the difference being you're going to go to add existing in order to create a Google assignment. When I click on add existing, you will see there's now a new icon here for Google assignments. When I click on Google assignments, it is going to prompt me to link my Google account to iLearn. So here I am currently signed in with my schools.nyc.gov account, and that is the one that I want to link with iLearn. We want to use the schools.nyc.gov account because that is the one that the Google Assignments integration is set up with. If you are using a different Gmail account, this integration will not work properly. Unless we have specifically set up your school with your own school's G Suite. Uh, if you do not see your schools.nyc.gov account show up here, you simply switch accounts and you'll sign into your schools.nyc.gov and then you'll be able to click this link button. When you click this link button, it's going to create a Google Assignments folder in your Google Drive. And within that Google Assignments folder, there will be a class folder for each class that you click this link for. So if you teach five classes, you'll click this link in each one of those classes when you, when you access Google Assignments and it will create that class folder for you in your drive. And then within that class folder will be all of the Google assignments that you create within iLearn. And that is where you will be able to view uh, all of the student work uh, in live real time and collaborate with them uh, in their Google Docs. So when I click this link button here, it's gonna do everything I just mentioned. After I give it approval by clicking on link here, And then every time going forward, I'll see a continue button there instead of link, and it'll bring me right to this screen. And you'll notice the first thing you'll notice is the total points. The point value that you assign here will be the same point value that will be created as a grade item in the iLearn gradebook. So that will automatically be created in the gradebook once you click create here and finish the assignment. You can give the assignment a due date. We'll give it a title here, call it Google assignments demo, and we'll give instructions here. So the instructions will be your typical instructions for, for an assignment. I also like to include the workflow for the student, reminding them to click the blue button uh, that says to open and attach and submit a document uh, prior to starting their work rather than clicking directly into the doc, uh, but that's at your discretion. And then we also have the ability to add rubrics from sheets. So import from sheets, reuse, or create a rubric right now while we're creating the assignment. And then we can also check for plagiarism, opt in or out of that. And then the big part here is attaching the file. So for this one, we are going to attach this Google Assignments doc here. And you'll notice when I attach the doc, it automatically sets the doc to each student will get a copy. So what that's going to do is it's going to assign this to each student. Each student will get a copy of the doc that is automatically shared with you and all the teachers of the class. And just that particular student. And that doc will automatically be in the folder for this particular assignment in your drive in that folder that I mentioned was created earlier. So once everything's set here, we'll click create. And then once we click create, you'll see it goes through the process here. And then you'll see just like all the other content that, we've, that we create within iLearn, this Google assignment will also live right here within the content section. And you'll see as the teacher, you can edit the assignment, change the point value at any time, change the due date, view the file you've attached. And then in this list here, you do not see anything here yet because no students have submitted work as of yet. You will only see student work in this list or student names appear in this list once students have submitted their work. So one other thing to show you in the teacher view is in your toolkit, 
you now have this Google Assignments icon here. If we click on this Google Assignments icon, you will see all of the courses that you've made that link for uh, in that initial step that I demonstrated for you. And if we view the class, you'll be able to see all of the assignments within that class that you've created, and you could view them or edit them all from this one, from this one space. The other thing I wanna show you that I've added to my personal nav bar here is a class drive icon. And I've done this by creating a custom link and adding it to my nav bar. So that way, when I click on this link, and this is simply to improve my workflow as a teacher, when I click on this link, it brings me right to my Google Assignments folder. So that way I can easily enter into any one of these classes and see any of the student work that's been completed, that's been started on uh, by my students. So now I'm going to jump into the student view to show you what it's going to look like for a student. So students are going to access the Google assignment the same way they access any other assignment that's created in Ireland right from their content. So when I open up the content, you'll see the Google assignments demo that I just created. And if I click into that, the student will be asked to sign in So I'll click next. It will bring me to the DOE single sign-on and I will sign in. And once the student signs in, it'll ask them to confirm. The first time they do this, they're going to have to do the same thing we did here as a teacher and link their account. So once they link their account, it'll bring them right to the Google assignment. And going forward, they won't have to link their account, but they will have to make sure that they're signed in with the correct Google account. And then this is that workflow that I was talking about for the students that we wanna put in the instructions. Rather than have them click right into the doc here, uh, I like to advise them to click open and attach, open to attach and submit. The reason being is because in order for them to submit their assignment, they have to be at this screen. And in order for you as the teacher, to see their works appear here, they need to submit their work. Otherwise, you'll have to access it from the assignments folder in Drive. So once they've done that, they can then access the Google Doc as they would anywhere else. They can also add files from anywhere from either their Drive or upload them from the computer. Uh, and then they can also create new docs, sheets, or slides from here as well. So if I submit this work as this student, We'll then have an opportunity to see what this will look like uh, from the teacher perspective once it's submitted. So if I go back to the teacher view and refresh my screen, I can now see that my one student has submitted their work. And if I click on their submitted work, I'm in this Google uh, grading interface here, where I can toggle between students. If I had more than one student in the class, I would see them on this list and I'd be able to toggle between their each student's assignments. I can collaborate on the doc here and edit in line uh, as you can in any Google doc. And then I can also assign a grade here to the doc. And this grade will automatically be sent to the grade book. I can also provide feedback to the student. And then once I've put the grade in and given feedback, I can then return this assignment to the student. And when I return it, that will send that grade to the grade book and it will allow the student to be able to see this returned item in their screen here. So now if I look at this as a student again, I'll see I have 100 out of 100 and you'll see the comment from my teacher, great job. And then as the teacher, I'll be able to see in this list here on this assignment, all the grades that I've turned at, that I've turned back to my students and what I've given each one of them. So that's Google Assignments in iLearn. Uh, I hope 
you enjoyed this demo and make great use of this tool going forward through the rest of the school year. Thanks for watching.